Hello everyone, welcome to Narasia Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. In previous session, we discussed array problems. Array is having four problems and uh, we have also discussed array first problem. The first problem is what? Type problem. Type problem is nothing but array is homogeneous object. Homogeneous object means it will allow us to store only same type of objects. It does not allow us to store different type of objects. Here the meaning of different type of objects means what? I created a class, I created array object with the class student. Then now only student class objects are stored, employee class objects not allowed. Then how to solve this type of problem? You must take a parent class type array. Then who is the super class of all Java classes? Object class. Then now to solve this type of problem, we have taken conclusion in the previous uh, session that is object array obj equal to new object array of some number you have to specify. How many values you wanted to store? Those many values or those many objects this number you have to specify. Then with the help of object class if you create array then any type of objects you can store student object, employee object, line object, tiger object, bike object, bus object, any, any Java objects including primitive values of all 8 primitive values you can store. So what is the point we concluded in last video, last session? If you wanted to solve only array type problem, collection API not at all required, you can directly choose object array. Collection API mainly came for what? Size problem. Now let us try to understand what is size problem and next coming uh, sessions we are going to discuss how to how collection API solving size problem. So first I want to understand size problem. Uh, now I have created any array, let me take int array i a equal to new int array of I have taken 5. Then this line what it will do? It creates i a variable because of int a. Then because of new int of 5, it creates 5 locations. Location is nothing but background variable 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Array object is created with some base reference 10, 10, 10, 10 stored on point. So it create variable, it create object. Nice. Then how many how many values I can store in this array? Only 5 values. I of 0 equal to some value I am taking 5. I A of 1 equal to some value 6. Then what happened? 5 stored here. Then 6 is stored here. I A of 2 equal to 7. Where 7 stored? In second location 7 stored. Then I A of 3 equal to 8. Uh, now 8 stored here. The next i a of 4 equal to 9. Now 9 stored here. Fine. So array created with how much look how many locations? 5 locations, then 5 values are stored fine. Now I am trying to store another value i a of 5 equal to 10. Then what happened at this line number? Here no compile time error. Compiler does not throw error, no compile time because compiler will only verifying array object with the name IA available or not, yes. And the allowed index number for this bracket of in between bracket is int value according to syntax allowed equal to the assign value 10 is of type int, IA variable is of type int. Compiler will verify only syntax, it does not verify what is there inside that location available or not, that and all will be verified by JVM. So, I have 5 equal to 10 when you write no compile time error, but further we will get exception runtime error, array index out of bounds exception. So, what is the size problem means? Size problem means we are allowed to store only the specified number of the size specified here. We can store only the number of values equal to the size specified here. If you trying to store the values beyond the size, then JVM will throw exception array index out of bounds exception. This is what size problem. Okay, so the size problem is a solving purpose only collection API came into picture. 
okay i hope you got some idea of size problem okay let me take some more real time example here uh, now i am asking the end user uh, to send the inputs to my java application he will send inputs how many inputs he is going to send at the beginning at the beginning end user will not know anything i want to develop a program such a way i want to ask the user enter number enter number okay then whatever number he entered here that number i take and store in java program and again i want to ask a question do you want do you want to continue entering next number yes or no then uh, if he entered yes i want again come i want to ask next number store okay i want to ask next number and store next number next number next number how many times he will ask yes 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 my application wanted to read dynamically the values if i use the array how many values user entering we don't know before program execution started if i take array for example int array ia equal to new int of i have to specify here size i don't know how many values user entered as many values user requesting me to enter those many values i have to receive and store in this array is it possible or not possible not possible so it is not good to use array object when we want to read dynamic number of values from the end user in place of array what should i use collection so collection mainly given by keeping point in the mind what size problem again again i'm repeating size problem okay so so what is a size problem if i create array with some size beyond that values we cannot store more values if we try to store we will get array index out of bounds exception problem and then to solve this array index out of bounds exception problem now what came into picture collection okay i hope got clarity now next let us try to move on to the next point what storing order problem means what okay storing order problem means what come here i created array object like this in place of storing array object like this i mean values like this i'm storing something like this i'm storing here 9 7 8 5 4 okay then how the values are going on storing here sir uh, array stores the elements only in insertion order array will always store objects in insertion order what is the insertion order what the order you are inserting 9 7 8 5 okay array will always store objects in insertion order and retrieving order is random random uh, right observe what what the point i'm trying to understand uh, third problem trying to understand storing order problem what are the meaning of storing order problem uh, array by default store objects only in insertion order and retrieve order is what random but i want to store objects in sorting order either ascending order or descending order any one of the order sorting order i want to store possible or not possible not possible uh, i wanted to retrieve objects in first in first out manner or last in first out manner last in first out manner or first in first out manner so in that way i wanted to retrieve okay uh, i wanted to restrict the user to retrieve the elements only sequentially i want to retrieve i don't want to allow random access i want to allow the user to retrieve objects first in first out last in first out or sequential only is this facility available with array object no storing order problem means what storing order problem means array will store the objects only in insertion order and allows us to retrieve objects only in random order okay but my requirement is storing objects in sorting order either ascending or descending and first in first out or last in first out manner i want to retrieve or only sequential order i want to retrieve that restriction that facilities are not available with array object compulsory must store insertion order and you have to retrieve randomly or of course sequentially also you can retrieve but it's not the rule restriction okay i want restrict only sequential random i don't want to so that facility is not available with array 
okay why these facilities are not available array object is not developed on any particular algorithm and data structure array developed just like that normal raw object it is it is meant for only two things store and retrieve randomly that is only the target raw object it is it is not developed on top of any uh, what do you call particular uh, algorithm or uh, data structure so simply here you take a uh, raw gold gold raw gold is what array object assume ornament is what collection ornament okay like uh, one, a ring or a chain or what uh, these are necklace or these are what uh, ornament okay ornament is nothing but collection that ornament is uh, uh, getting into the picture uh, with uh, some structure some uh, some uh, design the design or the structure is nothing but what algorithm and data structure so what you call collection array object is a raw object whereas collection is what a data structure uh, following some data structure and algorithm let me move on to the next topic what operations problem so finally i wanted to recall it once again array has having what four problems what are the four problems type of problem size of problem storing order problem now we are moving to the next topic what operations problem what is the meaning of operations problem yeah just i stored one object here okay come here i stored one object i wanted to remove this file possible or not possible not possible i wanted to uh, swap the objects okay uh, now possible or not possible not possible yeah possible you have to write your own code can i i want to remove that file possible or not possible you have to write the code by yourself inbuilt we do not have any methods okay operations problem means array doesn't have any inbuilt methods uh, to perform different operations on this array like removing replacing searching and uh, next further following by what uh, swapping all these operations purpose inbuilt methods are not there as i told you array object is a raw object it is not developed on top of any particular algorithm or data structure okay so array is having totally these four problems to solve these four problems uh, now we have to uh, move on to next topic what collections so let us try to recollect quickly summarize all the points what we learn uh, what is the point we discussed in last video and this video two videos we covered with the question what problems of array object solution using collection so array object is a language level inbuilt object means it is level at compiler and jvm level additional we no need to write the code then why uh, further collection is given for grouping the objects when already array is grouping objects array is having four problems first problem type size and uh, storing order problem and operations problem so type problem means it will not allow us to store a different type of objects size problem means it will store objects only given size beyond the size it will not allow us to store the more elements if you try to store jvm will throw array index out of bounds exception it will throw and storing order problem means by default array will store objects only in insertion order and allow us to retrieve randomly okay it cannot restrict the storing objects in sorting order ascending or descending or it will not restrict uh, us to retrieve the elements in uh, first in first out manner or last in first out manner and also it will not allow us to retrieve objects only sequentially to solve the problems we have to choose collection and operations problem means uh, now it will it will not provide any in built methods to perform different operations such as remove replace insert okay so insert operation means what uh, now 9 and 7 is there in between i want insert 6 possible or not possible not possible in a array for that i have to develop some methods those methods uh, together develop with the concept called what collection so to solve these four problems what con concept came into picture collection came into picture again i am highlighting collection mainly given to solve these three problems size problem storing order problem and operation problem uh, it collection is not given to solve the type problem to solve the type problem already we have object array then now i hope you understand these four points and differences in the next video we are trying to move on to next topic called how to develop custom collection custom collection custom collection means yes to solve these four problems already sun micro system has given collection api if sun micro system not given collection api how will you solve the problems that you should know in olden days in the interview room interviewers are concentrating only on the question uh, how many different types of collections are there in java what is use of that collection this collection uh, how to store objects in first collection how to store objects in second collection what is the difference between first collection second collection okay like that uh, only collection api related sun micro system given collection api related questions only asking and of course in the project 100% will use only collection api related uh, coding only but nowadays interviewers are asking the questions 
can you develop your own custom collection? Let us say Sun Micro system not given collection API, how will you uh, create your own collection? Then if the question you faced, you have to answer that question. Nah? So, we should be ready uh, to answer any question coming from the interviewer. When you are going to war, you must go with all the weapons, right? In the war, war place, if you miss one weapon and uh, telling to your enemy, sorry, sorry, one minute, I will go back to my home and bring that uh, weapon means, it is not good, no? So, your interview room is nothing but a war kind of story, okay? So, when you are going into the interview, you have to come up with all the ideas, all the points related to this particular topic, okay? So, we will learn how to use a collection in the project and its points later, but first I wanted to cover how to develop our own custom collection to solve size problem, storing order problem and operations problem, okay? So, this is the point we are learning in next video. I hope you enjoyed this video, understand all the four points and for more videos, please subscribe to our channel Naresh IT and follow us. Thank you. Thank you.